Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform escape analysis in Go to check the heap allocation of a program. So what is heap allocation? So when we have a program, we normally create variables and these variables can be placed in a stack or on a heap. So the main difference it brings is the performance. So if a variable is placed at a stack, then it wouldn't affect the performance that much. But if it is placed on a heap, then it might significantly affect the performance of the program. So sometimes it is useful to perform escape analysis to check which of your variables are escaping to heap, which means if they are getting created in a heap and if it is possible to avoid that so that you can improve your performance. So first I'm going to show you how to actually do it and then I will go in more details. So here we have a main program where the main is basically calling two different functions. So the first function is square. So it's basically squaring a value and then printing. And the second function is simply what is it doing is it is creating a number. Then it is returning the pointer to that number. And then here we are dereferencing it and simply printing it. Okay. So if I run this program, then as expected, it prints these two values. Okay. Now I have written this program and I want to check its efficiency and to see how the variables are allocated. Then I can do uh, the escape analysis. And I can do that by this command go build. Then I give GC flux is equal to minus M. So now it gives me some output. So important thing to notice here is this line where it says move to heap. So here what happens is because this number is getting created inside this function and every function has its own um, stack frame. So once this is created here and because we are returning its pointer, that means the same memory address is getting shared between two different functions. Okay. And after this is given back to the main function, here main is using that address. So that's why it is important to place this number outside of the stack. So the compiler will create this on the heap. And this is basically what is written here. Okay. The other information may not be that useful, but it can give some suggestions about what you can do with your program. For example, in the 12th line, so the function square is simply doing one a one line thing. So this we might as well replace this with x times x in this line only. So that's what this can in line square means. Um, and the compiler knows that before runtime. That's why it actually does it. Okay. So this is a quick video to show how you can do escape analysis in Go to check heap allocation. And this command I've written in this blog post uh, and you can go through it. And I'll put a link to this in the description. Thanks.